A House in the Country is Mary Logue's brief journal of her experience buying and renovating a dilapidated farmhouse by the shores of Lake Pepin in Stockholm, Wisconsin. It was published by Gaylord Chanilek's Midnight Paper Sales in two states in 1994. Here, I'll be looking at the standard edition, which was limited to 200 copies, quarter bound in cloth with brocade sides at the Campbell Logan bindery. The book is printed on zircol paper and has the zircol watermark visible on some of its 62 pages. Overall, the book feels well made and the delicate flower detailing to the brocade cloth adds a nice elegant touch, especially as it catches the light. Shanilek's engravings of Stockholm buildings are presented in colour that has been built up in several layers. Although embellishing engravings with some spots of colour is not that uncommon, the layering here is masterfully executed and lends the images an uncanny veracity. There may only be four of them, but they are of the finest quality and clearly demonstrate how Shanilek earned his formidable reputation. In addition to the main illustrations, there's a small single colour vignette engraving on the title page. The text is split into four essays, each of which presents a vignette of life by the lake. The principal typography is set in Walbaum, but is embellished with red raised caps in Stradivarius for a bit of flair. It's just enough to be interesting without seeming fussy. We join Logue as she buys, opens up, renovates and inhabits a rustic dwelling in need of some tender loving and care. While we're offered some glimpses of the locals, the charms of Stockholm and especially the ambient wildlife, the central focus is the author's relationship with the eponymous house in the country. I found a vicarious pleasure in experiencing the trials and tribulations of this kind of rural American living through Logue's eyes. The book ends with a brief colophon page that identifies it as one from an edition of 250 copies. The page is hand numbered and signed by both Logue and Shanilek.